we get our first look at the man the what faces from his brief training spells here in Glasgow Pitteleur is said to have fast hands good worker to the body quick aggressive two-handed and likely to give what a lot of trouble in the early rounds both men have been on the floor in their careers both have been cut Pitteleur has never been 15 rounds and what has three times what of course fair-haired southpaw this is the perfect reply to a hustler And Pitaloa now looking for the way to come in and he doesn't know where to find it. Good round for Watt. And as Jim Watt comes out for the fifth round, so one sees for the first time a rather nasty looking swelling at the side of his face by his right eye. So they both got slight marks around the eyes now. Pitaloa marked above the right eye, but not cut. And Watt similarly, a swelling coming up at the side of his right eye. Jim Watt will probably earn the most money any British fighter has ever earned in a world title fight in Britain. He'll probably pass the old record that Henry Cooper set against Muhammad Ali. Henry picked up 35,000 pounds and Jim Watt could well surpass that tonight. Oh, good right! Pidolo, good right. First big success. And that went right down Watt's legs. And Watt is being subjected to intense pressure. But he's keeping his boxing together. But only just. Good round for Pitaloa. Pitaloa, once a backstreet fighter in Colombia, in Cartagena where he was born. Oh, he's got it! Oh, the bite a bit. He said he'd knock Watt out in the seventh and Watt's put him down in the seventh. Good left. Oh, he's been looking for that left for a long time, and at last he found a good one. Now then, can Watt finish it here? The seventh. And he's got him just where he wants him, against the ropes. Punch has brought the heart of Kelvin Hall to boiling point. Pitaloa, open mouth, coming back the only way, knows two-handed. And there's anguish cries from Watts Corner now. Jab, 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 keep away. He just missed him with that one. So Watt has found the punch with which to win this fight. Something's left. Jim's still looking for another left like that one. Good comeback by Pitalo. Recovered. Well, he's got him again with it. That's the one. Not quite as well timed as the other one. 
gets the bell. Four to go. Enthralling fight. Never been a dull moment in it. Watts mother jumped up from the second row at the ringside and now trying to get into the front row and yelling Jim on. Good left from what? Backing up again, backing up. Back against the ropes again, and he's beginning to go. Determination seems to be leaking out of Pitalua. Tries to fight back. Round 12. And McCant is moving in, and he stopped it. No, he hasn't. I thought he'd stopped it, but no. He's pulled him out into the centre. A moment when Scotland thought they had a world champion. And McCanty moves it again, and this time it is the finish. It's over. Round 12, and the lawless camp have done it again. Their second world champion in 44 days. They've done the double. Morris Hope, and now Jim Watt. And Scotland have a world lightweight champion. Oh.